Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Salavi Tarot here. Let's see what's going on with you, Sagis. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. What are the messages for my Sagis? Please let the sun. Thank you. So we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. So ooh, someone here is coming your way. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be a bit intrigued. Okay. Um, this person could just have a different background, look different, sound different, move different from what you're used to. Okay. Age difference, whatever the case may be. But I feel like there is going to be a very strong connection. So please uh, be open-minded guys. Um, I feel like there's just such a strong connection. Cupid just flying over you guys and just really creating this beautiful bond here. All right, let's see what else we could get with that. That's beautiful. Thank you. And we have flirt. Expand your lighthearted energy to others. So I definitely see um, Sagis. I feel like you're really putting yourself out there, which is beautiful. True love at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is the romance of a lifetime. All right, so a lot of love coming your way. Sagittarius, moon, rising, all right? Um, Venus, I feel like there's someone here that is constantly on your mind. You're constantly th thinking about this person. I feel like the minute that you two lock eyes, um, I feel like automatically it's going to be love, um, smiles, flirtatious energy, attraction, all that goodness. Um, so please keep an open mind like they stated here, okay? Because I do feel like this is possibly going to catch you off guard, all right? It's going to catch you out of nowhere. So definitely be open for this, all right? So let's dig a little deeper here and see what else we have for you during this time. Sagittarius, obsession, obsession, you are my light. All right. And we have karmic partner. And yes, this is someone here that possibly may, again, um, maybe disconnecting from someone here that possibly drained them or possibly um, brought them into this place of, you know, knowing what they want now. So for a lot of you, Saji, you possibly just ended something with someone or you are now understanding why you needed to connect with someone here in the past in order to move forward. Because I feel like the last relationship that you were possibly in brought a lot of clarification in terms of what you're looking for now. All right. It, it literally brought you into the place that you are now. Okay. Where um, you are changing your um, expectations or you're changing your standards, right? Lifting your standards more so. Um, I do feel like whoever you're connecting with, Sagittarius, this is someone here that thinks about you a lot, all right? They're constantly thinking about you. Um, I feel like this person is constantly thinking about where this could go. Um, when is this going to go there? How is this going to go there? Um, and I feel like this person, uh, there's something that you triggered within this person's energy. And I feel like this person may tell you about this, or this is something that you're feeling, right? It's like, I thought I wasn't even going to be able to really love again, or I didn't think I was going to find someone again. And here we go. Okay. Tell me more about the person on Sagittarius's mind. So cups wanting to come out. Yeah, so for a lot of you, this is a past soulmate here. This is a, a soulmate connection. I feel like this person is going to help you in terms of expressing yourself, in terms of really healing a lot of past situations. Um, and I feel like they're not even going to feel like it's an obligation. It's just going to happen, Sagittarius. Um, I do feel like um, there is a come around again, okay? So for a lot of you uh, that possibly had some sort of um, disconnect with someone, um, I feel like someone here is coming back around and this this is because they've been thinking about this connection a lot. Tell me what this person um, that Sagittarius is connecting with. What are they thinking? Mm -mm. This person feels alone. They feel abandoned. Okay. This person could have feel like you possibly left, left them out. All right. For some of you, you possibly, um, you know, set some boundaries or you decided to say something about the relationship. And now I feel like this person feels like they're alone. There's something that happened here between you and someone that you connected very strongly with Sagittarius um, and I feel like you definitely had to put your guard up you had to say hey look I don't like the way certain things are and I feel like now this person's feeling as if you possibly left them out in the cold here okay but I see this person wanting to return wanting to fix things wanting to adjust things here Wow. You could be connecting with an earth sign, okay, or a Pisces or a Taurus or an Aries, all right? There's someone here that wants to 
<laughs> I feel like this person really wants to connect with you. It's like I want to be with my person here. Oh, wow. This is a very strong connection. This is a very, very strong connection. For some of my Sagittarius, I will say there's someone here that you had to shut out, all right, in order to make them come in properly. And I feel like this person is viewing you as amazing. This person's viewing you as their person, right? It's like my Empress, you know, to my Emperor here, my Bonnie to my Clyde, whatever you want to call it. But I feel like this person really feels like they met their person. Um, again, for a lot of you, you ended something and now you're stepping into this beautiful union, right? And you said to yourself like, wow, like I feel like I was alone for some time. I feel like I was abandoned or I feel like I was actually losing somebody once I created this, um, you know, boundaries, okay? So for a lot of you, you cut off your ex. You cut off this past person that was playing games with you. That was wasting your time, okay? And... Okay, so I see a lot of you stepping into this energy of possibly cutting someone out in the past here, someone here that possibly, again, just didn't get it. And I feel like it really brought you into this place of truly appreciating yourself, appreciating your divinity and pre appreciating what you believe that you uh, deserve. And I feel like this emperor here definitely wants to come in and show you love, okay, want to express some sort of love to you here. Uh, I do feel like there is a past person that's still thinking about you, Sagittarius, still thinking about the way that that um, they possibly treated the connection, but I feel like you're just moving on up, right? Moving on up here with this new person, moving away from this energy of constantly feeling like you're the only one doing everything or you're the only one fighting for a relationship. Um, I feel like in the past year, someone here created a lot of boundaries and they didn't want to let you in. They didn't want to try. And, you know, for a lot of you, you're very intuitive and you felt like this person really wasn't ready for what you were ready for. And I feel like someone here had to dismiss themselves from this connection. And I feel like it really left someone here thinking a lot about you. Um, for a lot of you, this is someone here coming in and wanting to fix the situation. And for others of you, uh, this is you meeting someone else. All right. So just take it how it resonates. But again, I do see someone here constantly thinking about you. All right. Wanting to come in, wanting to, um, you know, share that intimacy, that uh, beautiful connection that you guys have with each other. Tell me more about this person that my beautiful Sagis are connecting with. Who is this person, please? Thank you. Okay, so for a lot of you, you're dealing with two people. Like I stated, there's two people here that are constantly thinking about you, Sagittarius. All right, and I feel like you're in a place or you're going to be in a place where you're going to have to make a decision. All right, this person that you're connecting with in the past, they couldn't make a decision whether they wanted to move forward with you or just leave things as is here. All right, tell me what actions this person is taking. This past person, what action is this person taking? Ah, uh, I love you. I love you, Saji. Um, and I truly want to come in and fix this situation. And again, for a lot of you, this could be a new person, but um, I feel like someone here wants to come in. All right. They want to come in. They want to show you love. Um, this is someone here that really, really admires you truly admires your energy um this person feels as if you're very nurturing you're very loving you have your stuff together right um this person feels like you're very stable all right this person feels like um you're worth it <laughs> i feel like this person feels like you're worth it you're worth fighting for you're worth trying for you know trying here i feel like this person's in their head they have been thinking for a very long time um and i feel like this person is now understanding what you've been trying to say in the past here because i feel like for a lot of you you've been putting up boundaries with games um especially with someone that you've been trying to work with for a very long time uh, or you felt like this person was creating boundaries and you know you decided to really retreat from that sort of energy all right so let's get some more information i feel like again you know this person is someone here that could have been very stubborn um but i feel like this person's wanting to come in and put their guard down mm -hmm. any more please thank you the document so someone here could um send you a text message here or wanting to send you a text message uh this is someone here that could be uh going through a separation or some sort of divorce or needs to 
okay, or um, wanting to move or wanting to, um, you know, sign off on some deed or there's some sort of paperwork that's holding this person back. But I do feel like for a lot of you, this person wants to send you some sort of text message and tell you how much they miss you, how much they're thinking about you, okay? There's something in terms of communication that's really, really on this person's mind here. Because I get a lot of this love energy into the future here. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're wondering, um, is this person, am I really going to meet my person? Or am I really going to uh, connect with someone? Another message I'm getting here, Sag, is for a lot of you, when you met this person, when you first met this person, you had a lot of doubts um, within this connection. It was just something that you didn't think that would take off, and it does. Okay, what else do we have for my Sagittarius pertaining to this beautiful connection? What a catch. <laughs> Someone here is saying, how did I score like this? Like, how did I, how did I get Sagittarius? Like, how did I do this? How did I, what did I do to deserve this beautiful connection? All right, we have an ideal partner, mate abundance, um, self-esteem value, um, marriage material. So this person's looking at you like, this is, this is it here, guys. This is here. This is it. I found my person. I found the person that truly understands me. I found the person that really triggered that energy of love within me again. And I feel like it's interesting because it looks like once this person starts getting this energy of constant thoughts of you I feel like this person starts to become very confused as if they don't deserve this connection or as if maybe you're going to push them away there's some sort of doubt that comes in here but I feel like after some time this person's going to get to know you Sagittarius and I feel like this person is really going to work towards opening up to you because I don't see you trying to force yourself on this person I don't see you trying to convince this person it's like you you know where I am you know where I'm sitting you know um what I bring to the table and I feel like this person is going to um feel so overwhelmed with the thoughts of your greatness and they are going to come after you they are going to come in and communicate here with the six of cups here all right so this person knows that you're the best of the best here okay so um that's beautiful all right on guard okay competing so this person may feel like they have to compete Mm. This person feels like they may have to compete here with someone else. Or this person's wondering if you're possibly connecting with other people. And I feel like that's something that's going to make them feel a little insecure. Okay. Tell me more about this. No, you hang up. So you are um, someone that possibly talks to this person a lot. There may be a lot of conversations, text messages, um, you know, whatever it is. But I feel like it's one of those things, one of those vibes where once you start talking to this person, texting this person, it's like I don't even know what happened to the time. Like we just talk about everything and everything and anything here. Okay, we have lengthy conversations, a lot to talk about. Um, I'm so into you, meaningful uh, connection. We have a lot in common, right? We just have so much in common. And I feel like this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful here. All right, so let's get some more information. Tell me a little bit more about this beautiful person that my Saggies are connecting with. Let me see. <laughs> All right, let's see, Saggies. Let's see, because this person feels like you are their everything. Like, you're beautiful. Mm. This person's definitely going to pursue you, Sagittarius. I feel like this person could be another fire sign. All right? I'm not going to shout out any signs, but I do feel like this person is very interested in uh, being with you, meeting with you, connecting with you, um, growing with you. Pursue this person wants to pursue you. Okay? Tell me more about how Sagittarius is feeling. So what are we thinking about here? So Sagittarius is in this place where I'm not sure, okay? And I feel like this is just coming from a place of, you know, I'm a bit overwhelmed with this because I've been through so much in the past. So I am bringing in possibly some thoughts of, you know, doubt as well into this connection, all right? So I do see someone doing that or feeling like, you know, they're a bit stuck in their head. So they're overthinking. All right. So you may be overthinking, wanting to take this slow, which is fine. 
Okay, so I see someone here wanting to slow things down a little bit. Okay, tell me more about this beautiful connection. Okay. Very nice. So someone here is doing background checks, huh? Someone here is doing background checks. Someone here wants to know. I feel like this person wants to know a little bit more about you. They want to know um, if you're dating other people, if you're connecting with other people, right? I feel like... Hmm. I feel like this person may ask you a lot of questions in terms of like, where do you see yourself in a few years? I feel like this person's already mapping out their future with you in it already. Okay. Tell me what the current energy is like for my Sagittarius. Silence. So for some of you right now, I feel like you may not be talking to this person or this person may view you as somebody that's very quiet, mysterious secretive to some extent okay this person feels like you're very intuitive um i feel like this person currently may not be overly expressing themselves to you okay for a lot of you again you may not be communicating with this person but i feel like there's this energy of this person knowing that they're going to speak to you again i feel like this person knows the type of person that you are and uh they know that you're there person all right so right now there's this silent like energy there's this energy of a lot of questions right i want to know what this person's thinking and this person may not be telling you but i do see this person thinking about you a lot here is there anything else my sagis need to know mm. someone here is still trying to work on releasing their past okay i will say someone here just walked away from their past person Okay, someone here just walked away from their past person. Tell me more. Sagittarius, did you give up on this situation? Did somebody give up on this to focus on their finances, to focus on school or focus on work or focus on other things? Tell me more a little bit about that. What's going on with that? Thank you. Someone here could have created some sort of distance between... This connection. Yeah. For a lot of you Sagittarius, there's someone here in your past that I feel like this you're disconnecting from or this person's disconnecting from and this person may not tell you that they're still working on letting someone go or letting go of a situation. I feel like this person could be having some sort of family situation or some sort of situation going on in the background that they may not be completely telling you about. And I feel like that's gonna create some sort of wedge, some sort of distance for some time. And then I feel like this person's going to come back and try to fix things with you with confidence. So it looks like in the middle of this connection, there is some sort of interference that happens where either someone here has to disconnect from a situation or from a career or something here pertaining to uh, their past that they have to disconnect and it's going to pull a lot of their attention. And I feel like um, once they clarify this situation i feel like that's when they're able to pursue you properly here okay give me more please interesting especially if you're connecting with somebody that you think has walked away this person's coming back yeah, 10 of pentacles here. Someone here is really trying to work on their stability and it comes off or it came off like this person walked away, but I see this person coming back. Take that how that resonates, Sagittarius, okay? Because I'm seeing someone here still wanting to pursue you, especially if this person has some sort of water placement, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, or this person could be at a distance from you. But I see this person wanting to stabilize something here in order to uh, bring in this energy of love here. Okay, because since we have the Six of Cups, this is definitely somebody here wanting to return. Okay, let's get some messages and see what's going on here. Sagittarius. Mm, yeah, someone here silently just walked away and they didn't even give you an explanation. And here they come. Here they come. Okay. Thank you. So we have unfinished business. Yeah, this is somebody here that tried to walk away. And here they come. It says we still have things to resolve and discuss. Okay. 
I, I want to talk to you. I'm still connected to you, so hold on here. All right, this is somebody here that knows that they're not trying to lose their empress. They're like, I'm not, I don't want to disconnect from this beautiful connection. Okay, can I have one more? All right, what do we have? We have unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Okay, this is because this is something that you may tell this person. All right, I mean, one more. And we have third party. All right, and it says there were other things that got in the way of us being together. Okay, but here I come. Yeah, this person wasn't really honest with their emotions. And I feel like this person wants to come back here and uh, discuss something. This person wants to have a conversation with you. I want to talk to you. I'm not going to just let you go. I will talk to you soon, Sagittarius. Have a beautiful one. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal, all my info is below. Have a good one.